As promised in my last video today, we shall explore a revolutionary concept, the integration of complex numbers with the decimal number system. This idea promises to enhance our understanding of mathematics and extend its applications. Let's dive into the history, basic concepts, attempts at integration, and my unique approach to this intriguing endeavor, which includes a modified place value system and novel decimal operations. To appreciate the integration of complex numbers with the decimal system, we must first understand their origins. The decimal number system, also known as the base 10 system, dates back to ancient civilizations like the Egyptians and the Babylonians. It was formalized by Indian mathematicians and spread to the Western world through the works of Islamic scholars. On the other hand, complex numbers have a more tumultuous history. The notion of imaginary numbers emerged in the 16th century when mathematicians like Cardano grappled with solutions to cubic equations that involved the square root of negative numbers. The formal acceptance and development of complex numbers came later, with significant contributions from Euler, Gauss, and others in the 18th and 19th centuries. The decimal number system is a positional numeral system that uses 10 digits, from 0 to 9. Each digit's position represents a power of 10, allowing for the representation of both whole numbers and fractional numbers. Complex numbers, on the other hand, consist of a real part and an imaginary part. This extension of the real numbers allows for the solution of equations that have no real solutions. This concept might seem abstract, but it has practical applications in fields like engineering, physics, and computer science. Historically, the integration of complex numbers into the decimal system hasn't been a mainstream focus. However, there have been efforts to unify different complex number systems under broader mathematical frameworks. For example, hypercomplex numbers, including quaternions and octonions, extend complex numbers to higher dimensions. These efforts demonstrate the potential for a unified numerical system. I don't know why complex numbers and the decimal system have remained separate entities. Being an Indian guy from the east where decimal system took birth, I propose a possible integration thereof with the complex numbers from the west. The challenge is to find a way to integrate these systems seamlessly. Imagine if we could extend the familiar and intuitive decimal system to include complex numbers, providing a unified framework that simplifies calculations and broadens our mathematical toolkit. Allow me to present my approach towards integrating complex numbers with the decimal number system. This vision involves a modified place value system and novel rules for decimal operations to seamlessly incorporate complex numbers. In this framework, the first imaginary part has a place value of 100, and every subsequent imaginary part increases by 10 times its predecessor. Thus, the place values for the imaginary parts are 100, 1000, 10,000, and so on. This system preserves the hierarchical structure of the decimal system while extending it to accommodate complex numbers. We introduce a unique rule for operations involving the signs of imaginary parts. If the imaginary part has a positive sign, it multiplies the real part. Conversely, if the imaginary part has a negative sign, it divides the real part. This rule integrates the effects of the imaginary components into the real number operations in a consistent and logical manner. In this system, imaginary numbers are replaced by starting with the natural logarithm of 2 and its successive logarithms. This substitution grounds the imaginary parts in well-known mathematical constants, providing a bridge between real and complex numbers. The problematic point will be negative logarithm of minus 1 which also can be fixed or replaced by double of the natural logarithm of 2 following the definition of imaginary number iota. This approach is consistent with the principles of the decimal system and the properties of complex numbers. By integrating complex numbers in this way, we create a seamless transition from real to complex numbers. Furthermore, this framework can unify hypercomplex numbers, such as quaternions and octonions, by extending the positional system into higher dimensions. Each dimension could represent a different component of these hypercomplex numbers, preserving the structural integrity of the decimal system while accommodating greater complexity.
integrating complex numbers with the decimal number system through a modified place value system and my novel rules for decimal operations is a practical and innovative step towards unifying various numerical systems. By viewing complex numbers as an extended decimal system with unique place values and operational rules, we preserve consistency and open the door to unifying more complex number systems. This vision holds the promise of a more cohesive and comprehensive mathematical framework, enhancing our understanding and application of numbers in diverse fields. Thank you for your attention, and I hope this exploration has sparked your curiosity and appreciation for the innovative possibilities in the world of mathematics. As with any groundbreaking idea, the integration of complex numbers with the decimal number system is bound to face scrutiny and criticism. This is a natural part of the process of advancing knowledge and pushing the boundaries of what we understand. Let me address some of the probable criticisms and defend my propositions with clarity and conviction. One of the primary criticisms may be that this new system is too complex and impractical for everyday use. Critics might argue that the modified place value system and new rules for operations add unnecessary layers of complication. While the proposed system introduces new concepts, it builds on the familiar structure of the decimal system. The place value modification and the rule of signs are designed to maintain consistency and logic within the system. The use of natural logarithms provides a mathematically rigorous foundation that can unify real and complex numbers. In practical terms, the adoption of this system can be incremental, starting in advanced fields like theoretical mathematics, physics, and engineering, where the benefits of a unified numerical framework are most pronounced. Another criticism might come from a purist mathematical perspective, arguing that such a system disrupts the elegance and simplicity of existing mathematical structures. Mathematics has a history of evolving to incorporate new ideas that initially seemed counterintuitive or complex. The acceptance of zero, negative numbers, and even complex numbers themselves were met with resistance. Yet, these concepts have become fundamental to modern mathematics. My approach is not to replace existing systems but to extend them, providing a new perspective that enriches our understanding and opens up new possibilities for exploration and application. As we delve into the integration of complex numbers with the decimal number system, one aspect of my proposal is likely to attract significant criticism the replacement of the imaginary unit with the natural logarithm of two and its successive logarithms. Let me address and defend this part of my proposition in detail. Critics might argue that replacing the imaginary unit with natural logarithm of two and its successive logarithms undermines the mathematical legitimacy and rigor of complex numbers, as the imaginary unit iota has a well-defined and fundamental property. While the imaginary unit iota is indeed fundamental in traditional complex number theory, my proposal aims to reinterpret the imaginary component in a way that is consistent with logarithmic growth. The use of natural logarithm of two and its successive logarithms grounds the imaginary part in well-known mathematical constants that also exhibit a clear, hierarchical relationship. This transformation does not negate the properties of iota, but rather provides a new framework that could offer deeper insights, especially in fields that already make extensive use of logarithmic functions, such as information theory and signal processing. Another criticism may focus on the conceptual clarity and intuition of replacing iota with logarithms, arguing that this substitution could confuse rather than clarify the understanding of complex numbers. The integration of natural logarithms into the imaginary component introduces a new layer of conceptual clarity by linking complex numbers directly to exponential and logarithmic growth, which are pervasive in nature and various scientific disciplines. For instance, exponential growth is fundamental in fields ranging from population dynamics to finance. By expressing the imaginary part in terms of logarithms, we provide a bridge to these applications, making the abstract concept of iota more tangible and relevant. Furthermore, as students and practitioners become accustomed to this new framework, the initial confusion will give way to a deeper, more intuitive grasp of complex relationships. Critics might be concerned about the impact this change will have on existing theorems, applications, and computations that rely on the traditional definition of iota. 
My approach is not intended to replace the existing framework, but to provide an alternative perspective that can coexist with traditional complex number theory. Existing theorems and applications remain valid within their established contexts. However, in areas where logarithmic relationships are more prevalent, this new framework could offer enhanced computational and conceptual tools. Over time, mathematicians and scientists may develop new theorems and applications that leverage this reinterpretation, leading to novel insights and advancements. Educators might express concern about the difficulty of teaching this new system, especially when students are already grappling with traditional concepts. Education is about preparing students to think critically and adapt to new ideas. Introducing this system can be seen as an opportunity to deepen students' understanding of mathematical concepts and their interrelations. By gradually integrating these ideas into advanced mathematics curricula, we can provide students with a more comprehensive toolkit that will serve them well in various scientific and engineering disciplines. Established fields that rely on current mathematical systems, such as engineering, physics, computing, and advanced technologies, might resist adopting a new numerical framework. Innovation often encounters resistance, but it also drives progress. The proposed system's primary applications lie in advanced theoretical work and cutting-edge technologies. Over time, as the benefits become evident, more fields may adopt the new framework. Additionally, this system does not mandate an immediate overhaul of existing practices. It can coexist with current systems, offering an alternative approach where beneficial. In any paradigm shift, there may be skepticism aimed at the proponents of the new idea. Critics might question the credibility or motivations behind such a proposal. Throughout history, many pioneers in science and mathematics have faced personal attacks and skepticism. It is crucial to stay focused on the merits of the idea and the potential it holds for advancing our understanding. My motivations are rooted in a genuine desire to explore new frontiers in mathematics and to contribute to the body of knowledge in a meaningful way. Constructive criticism is welcome, as it helps refine and improve the proposition. However, personal attacks will not deter the pursuit of progress. Defending the integration of complex numbers with the decimal number system requires a steadfast belief in the value of innovation and an open-minded approach to criticism. By addressing concerns thoughtfully and demonstrating the potential benefits of this new framework, we can foster a productive dialogue that ultimately advances our understanding and application of mathematics. Change is challenging, but it is also necessary for growth and discovery. The integration of complex numbers with the decimal number system through a modified place value system and novel operational rules is a practical and innovative step towards unifying various numerical systems. By viewing complex numbers as an extended decimal system with unique place values and logarithmic replacements, we preserve consistency and open the door to unifying more complex number systems. This vision holds the promise of a more cohesive and comprehensive mathematical framework, enhancing our understanding and application of numbers in diverse fields. Thank you for your attention, and I look forward to engaging in further discussions and explorations of this exciting concept. Thank you for your attention and curiosity regarding the innovative concept of integrating complex numbers with the decimal number system. To provide you with deeper insight and foster your interest, I would like to share my personal journey that led me to this unique idea. My journey began with a profound fascination for one of the most enigmatic problems in mathematics, the Riemann hypothesis. As many of you know, this hypothesis, proposed by Bernard Riemann in 1859, suggests that all non-trivial zeros of the Riemann zeta function lie on the critical line with a real part of half. Solving this hypothesis has far-reaching implications for number theory and beyond. Driven by curiosity and determination, I delved into the intricacies of the Riemann zeta function and its connection to the gamma function. Through intense study and exploration, I developed my own proof of the Riemann hypothesis. My proof relied on the family of self-recursive factorial and zeta functions, which recursively define themselves in terms of higher-order analogs. This breakthrough opened the door to exploring higher-dimensional mathematics, particularly the geometry of higher-dimensional hyperspheres. 
I began to see patterns and relationships that extended beyond the familiar two-dimensional unit circle, leading me to consider the role of complex and negative logarithms in these higher dimensions. As I applied my findings to higher dimensional hyperspheres, I envisioned a simplex number system analogous to the decimal system. This system could unify complex numbers, higher dimensional mathematics, and logarithmic relationships into a cohesive framework. My goal was to create a system that retained the simplicity and familiarity of the decimal system while incorporating the richness and complexity of higher dimensional mathematics. The key insight came when I realized that the imaginary unit could be replaced by the natural logarithm of two and its successive logarithms. This substitution provided a logical and consistent way to integrate complex numbers into the decimal framework, preserving the hierarchical structure and operational rules. Now, I stand before you, eager to share this vision. The integration of complex numbers with the decimal system through a modified place value system and novel operational rules offers a practical and innovative step towards unifying various numerical systems. By viewing complex numbers as an extended decimal system with unique place values and logarithmic replacements, we can create a more cohesive and comprehensive mathematical framework. This journey has been both challenging and rewarding. It has required perseverance, creativity, and a willingness to challenge conventional thinking. I believe that by embracing this new framework, we can open the door to new possibilities and applications, particularly in fields that extensively use logarithmic functions, such as information theory and signal processing. In conclusion, my personal journey has been a quest for deeper understanding and innovation. From developing a proof of the Riemann hypothesis to exploring higher dimensional mathematics and creating a simplex number system, this path has led to the exciting concept of integrating complex numbers with the decimal system. I am thrilled to share this journey with you and look forward to engaging in further discussions and explorations of this transformative idea. Thank you for your keen interest in the concept of integrating complex numbers with the decimal number system. To give you a deeper understanding and engage your curiosity further, I'd like to take you back to a significant moment in my personal journey, a journey that began on Christmas Eve in 2012, a date surrounded by speculation and mystery. On Christmas Eve of 2012, the world was abuzz with the idea that the Mayan calendar predicted the end of the world. Although it turned out to be a hoax, this period of heightened interest in cosmic events sparked my own curiosity about the universe. As the year drew to a close, instead of worrying about apocalyptic predictions, I immersed myself in reading Wikipedia articles on cosmology, dark matter, dark energy, Einstein's theories of special and general relativity, and quantum mechanics, particularly quantum entanglement. This deep dive into the world of physics and cosmology was both fascinating and overwhelming. The mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, the mind-bending concepts of relativity, and the bizarre phenomena of quantum entanglement captivated my imagination. I wondered if there was a way to reconcile these disparate fields into a unified framework, a theory of everything, that could explain the fundamental nature of our universe. During this exploration, I encountered the Riemann hypothesis, a conjecture in number theory that has profound implications across mathematics and physics. The hypothesis suggests that all non-trivial zeros of the Riemann zeta function lie on the critical line with a real part of half. This idea intrigued me, and I sensed that it might hold the key to reconciling the complex and often contradictory theories I had been studying. As I delved deeper into the Riemann hypothesis, I saw connections between it and the mathematical structures underlying cosmology and quantum mechanics. The self-recursive nature of the gamma and zeta functions hinted at a deeper, underlying order. I began to develop my own proof of the hypothesis, focusing on self-recursive gamma and zeta functions and applying these insights to higher dimensional mathematics, including the geometry of hyperspheres and complex logarithms. Through this process, I envisioned a new number system, a simplex number system analogous to the decimal system. This system would unify complex numbers, higher dimensional mathematics, and logarithmic relationships into a cohesive framework. This epiphany led to the proposal I present to you today. 
integrating complex numbers with the decimal number system through a modified place value system and novel operational rules. This approach preserves the intuitive structure of the decimal system while extending it to encompass complex numbers and higher dimensions. Looking back, the journey that began on that fateful Christmas Eve in 2012 has been one of discovery, insight, and innovation. From exploring the mysteries of the cosmos to developing a proof of the Riemann hypothesis, and finally, to creating a simplex number system, this path has led to an exciting and transformative concept. I am thrilled to share this journey with you and look forward to engaging in further discussions about the potential of this groundbreaking idea.